What's up? I'm Carly Gwen. This is Third Time's a Charm on to all the crowded rooms. I'm gonna do this one first, guys. This is my first ever shot. I'm straight edge. This is purely my stage. <laughs> Who is your dream person to interview on your podcast? <gasps> oh my gosh. All right, this one's gonna be so nerdy because I'm like wearing their shirt. So my dream person to interview on my podcast is Spencer Chamberlain. He's the singer for Under Oath. They were the band that got me into heavy music, got me into metal. Um, they're still my favorite band today. My first tattoo was an Under Oath tattoo. And he's just like, not only just like a babe, right? But like ugh, the greatest singer ever. And like every time I listen to one of their records, even if it's like one from 2004 or like their newest one from like 2017, I'm like, how does he like reach these highs and lows? And like, he's just such a talented singer. And I feel like his lyrics are awesome. And I feel like I would just have a lot of questions about like, I don't know, I guess what he wants to get across in his songs and also like his personal life. Like he's gone through a lot of like ups and downs as far as like, substance abuse and just coming from like my straight edge perspective it's like something that i can't really wrap my head around and i feel like i would really want to check out like his perspective on that whole side of things and like coming out the other side and still being like a really talented musician what's this little guy i feel like they're little fortune cookies have you ever bombed during a comedy set Ooh, that's a good one um i have not i can't nothing comes to mind maybe like the the weirdest show was at like a kind of a dive bar in philly clearly everyone there was not there to see a comedy show like they were just trying to eat dinner or like hang at the bar and then there was kind of like a comedy competition going on so there was like 12 comedians from around philly and we were all kind of competing in this like bracket challenge and it was like around March Madness. So it was supposed to be like a tie in and no one was clapping for anyone. And everyone just seemed like really annoyed and not laughing. And it was just like a weird vibe. And I was like, these jokes normally kill like in other venues. And then, um, but like once I saw like other people weren't like getting any reactions at all, I was like, all right, this is just a weird room. But then me and like two of my friends ended up like going further in the competition, even though that show was so weird. So it ended up being cool after all. <laughs> all right, what's the worst thing to happen while live on the radio? Oh man. Um, I was on the radio in Philadelphia doing like a morning show and one of the other hosts um, had gotten like a, an ancestry.com or like 23andMe test for like Christmas. She was like telling us this big, big story. And she was like, um, I figured out that like my parents used a sperm donor because like I found all this like information from my, yeah, from my, like my results that told me that like I was Jewish and I had grown up Catholic and like all these like kind of details. And it was like this, this like bomb drop. And we were all like, oh my God, like that's so crazy. Like you didn't know like your dad maybe isn't like your dad. And she was like, yeah. And she was crying and we were all like, really emotional and then people were calling in like this is really inappropriate blah 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 like nobody it didn't go over how we thought like at all and like people were so like some people called in and were like oh my gosh this is a crazy story but a lot of people were like really kind of like not taking it well like because it was supposed to be like kind of like a light-hearted like fun type of like silly morning show so i think that as far as like segments go on the radio i think that went a lot different than we thought like compassion wise like people's reactions were not what we thought at all Thanks so much for watching. That was Third Time's a Charm. I'm Carly Gwen, and make sure you look out for the full episode of the podcast. It's to all the crowded rooms.